Can you believe it's been so long as I filmed that I forgot my intro? So let's start again. Hi everyone, welcome to Sean in Science. I'm Sean and I'm in Science. I want to do a quick update on the things that I've been up to in the last six months, but I also want to take you along on a day in my life. It's Saturday um, and I'm in the lab because I need to do something with my cells. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started. Oh, actually, one more thing. I decided that I will also get plants in the lab. So where you are perched on right now, there is loads of plants and I'll show you guys. I need to water them because I've got to water them on Friday. It's Saturday now and it's summer, so they need more water. Um, yeah. So I might be having like a stressful day or something like that. And I just turn around, I just have a look at my plants and they just make me happy. It's just such a good mood booster. So yeah, look, this piece lily, flowers are come, flowers about to come through, and then there's this trade scanthia that has the most beautiful, beautiful colour. She's so pretty. Anyway, <laughs> let's go into the lab. Okay, so um, we do wear masks at work, but I'm in a TC room now and there's no one else with me, so I am gonna take off my mask. Um, and if anyone else does come in, then I'll put my mask back on. But since I wanna, you know, chat with you guys, I thought it's best to put my mask off. So, yeah, what have I been up to? Um, so, in the first few months since I uploaded, I was working on my application, so trying to apply to get a PhD. Because I'm not sure you guys know, because I didn't share it the first year round, but actually, the year before, I had applied for a PhD. But silly me, I only applied to one place, and that was the Welcome um, Trust. That was the welcome PhD program at my workplace here and I got through to interviews and I was so gassed I was like yeah I've got this I've got this but then there was one question that like stumped me I've got a vlog about that that I am working on so I will be able to share that experience um so I didn't get through that first round so the second year which was this year that just went by I was like okay I'm not gonna make the same mistake because one's bitten twice shy um, so I explored expanded um, the places that I was applying to between August to January I was basically so focused on my application so September come September I was writing up applications so I applied to Francis Crick to King's College London and then to several um, programs in Cambridge and I was successful for most of them I got interviews for um, the AstraZeneca program which, which was the one that I eventually chose I got interviews for Francis Crick which I also got an offer from and I actually got interviews from King's College but by then I'd gotten two offers and I'd already decided where I wanted to go so I withdrew my application another thing that, that I was doing whilst I was away um, I was nominated for the Diana Award and I was a recipient as well so we actually had the celebration event um last monday the 28th of june and yeah that was really exciting and now like we're doing like some mini little press releases here and there so that's been exciting in fact you know what i'm not really liking this so let's just switch up a little bit shall we yeah so i got um reached out by project embrace i will leave their contact details below because i think what the project is about is very very important so they reached out to me to do a photo shoot which was the first time ever that was really exciting i've got some bts behind the scenes that i am um, that i filmed on the day i'm working on that video um so hopefully when the campaign is out i can also release that video but i really wanted to kind of shout them out because i think what they do is really great work i'm um, really trying to um put more awareness on um, how black hair is deemed in the workplace I mean I obviously have <laughs> no hair um, in comparison to the black other black females that were part of the shoot but I think this is still a part of representation of black hair in 
the workplace there's many other females like me and we had an interview actually about how my hair is perceived in the workplace and i was able to actually share my experience oh yeah i'm gonna be restarting the ask the ask a scientist series i've got a few phd students people who are just finishing their phds early postdocs to ask um questions and this time round, i guess it'll be season two um this time around i want to ask questions that pertain to more of like the day-to-day -day, um aspects of research the topics in research that you don't really realize when you're a student going back to my experience like when i was a student there's certain like politics within science that you're not so privy to or you're not aware of because you're almost sheltered from it and even to little things about you know what if you're working with people that you don't really gel with um the issue with in academia we have so far where i feel like people who are in higher positions are not well trained to manage um people in general so it's like there's all these things that are within science that i am now privy to because i have now obviously worked in an in a institution for longer as a non-student so I wanted to share that with you and just make you guys aware of that especially if you're thinking okay what do I want to do in science what are my options and these are the things that you know just to be aware of, I just want to kind of shed light on that um, so yeah that was happening do you know what I've been talking too much let's get our coat on our gloves on and then we can continue this chat all right cool as I do this kill two birds with one stone so in the time I've been away I've also tried to kind of have a really a sit down to really think about what my objectives are with sharing the science with the channel like I know when I started the channel um, it came off from me trying to put onto youtube put onto the social media platforms the things that i didn't see so when i was graduating and i was about to i was trying to think about what my next steps would be and how i could use my biochemistry degree i wasn't sure exactly what the options were and especially in the day and age that we are where you know you want to see the day in the life of this day in the life of that you just need to go on youtube and you type it up but whenever i went onto youtube and i typed it up i never really saw someone who represented me so that's why i was so passionate and so um moved motivated to do this and share my experience um so i've got my cells um i'm going to spin them in pbs and then spin them down so yeah let's do that so yeah in my time off i've really started thinking about that and i want to kind of make that objective a lot more obvious and out there that you know i really want to with this channel build a community of like-minded girls boys who are minorities that are um that are motivated to pursue an, a career in science and just to be like a safe space a, a space that we can um support each other as well um in the last few months actually i've been um getting reached out to and that's another thing so um reach out to me on linkedin i'm quite I'm a lot more active on LinkedIn and I've had one or two people who have reached out to me there asking for like advice on um, applications and stuff and whenever I have time I do genuinely like read and um, respond to them and try to help in whatever, in whatever way I can because I think that's something that's so important where you can have someone that looks like you who is in a position that you are hoping to be in and you can feel free to reach out to them so yeah with the people who have done that i've helped with some applications that they've got um just to review their cv as well i mean i'm not trying to toot my own horn but i have at this point applied to 
in like numerous positions within academia both on research assistant positions so that's like staff related as well as um phd related applications so i feel like my experience has given me a leg to stand on to make one or two statements that i know is true um okay so i've spun these down and what i'm gonna do now is aspirate off the pbs and then we suspend them in like a mill of media and then i can plate them up i've been really thinking about you know also what i want to be given like what are the things that you guys are expecting when you come onto my channel what you guys like about the channel so far what more things you want to see from me obviously within reason right because <laughs> i am quite busy um so yeah i just wanted to kind of share that with you guys um and of course as i said earlier now that I'm, I'm set to start my phd in in october that's definitely something that i want to share with you guys so next i'm gonna get out the plates that i'm gonna have them i've been in very close contact with a phd student I'm here and when I was when talking about her experience as a PhD student she was talking a lot about how much you develop as a person and that was something that I wanted to stress in the interviews but that's also something that I want to show and put on this platform that as a PhD student you're obviously going to be taking a lot that you're driving your project but more than you having to be independent in your project life I think it's going to dis dissipate into many areas of your life in other aspects so i really want to share that journey and just show what it's like to get a phd in cambridge as i never say as a black girl in science but just as is you know in biochemistry so i just want to really have this space as an exploratory um space you know ask questions and people who do have answers you can answer questions in, in the in the comments Oh, and yeah guys, so also in my time away, I've been trying to liaise with um, people who have applied for PhDs as international students. When I applied, I applied as a home student, but I know that there's a lot of people that have been reaching out to me on LinkedIn, asking about what the process is like. But most of them are from like Nigeria or India, like most of them are international students and I genuinely do not know what the process is like because I didn't apply as an international student. But I know someone who actually just joined the lab who um, got into a PhD program over at Edinburgh. So I have um, asked her if she is willing to share her experience um, and talk about the process as an international student. So look out for that guys i want to do the most i can to address those questions um and if i don't have the answers i want to be able to at least reach out to someone who does um just to help you guys really um although talking about that i have set up a super prof account um because i realized that as i said when it came to reviewing people's cvs and personal statements and all of that like I feel like I've got one or two things to say that makes sense. If you have any inquiries about your CV, personal statements, I am happy to look at them, but I will be um, sort of charging for that just because as I start my PhD, I'm going to be a lot more busy. And I said, I do want to help as much as possible. But, you know, when I do these things, I literally set up Zoom meetings. We have one-to-one -one, um, meetings, looking through the personal statements, looking through the application, looking through the CV. I want to be able to you know give you guys the best give you guys the most personalized advice and i feel like also since i'm going to be switching um to a phd pay i gotta hustle I'm not gonna lie i'll be honest with you guys i gotta hustle too so yeah um have a look at my super prof account i feel like it's reasonable pricing and as i said um i've got reviews on there people who have um who have advised on that and i think they're quite good reviews um so yeah check it out i have the link up in my banner on my channel um and i look forward to hearing from you guys um so yeah um actually another thing i wanted to have a chat below how has the last six months been for you what are your next plans you know we're now going into 
summer but as well as that we're now going into a new academic year people are going to start applying and stuff what are the places that you're thinking of applying um stuff like that let's have a chat down below i really want to engage a lot more with you guys um and have interaction with you guys and speaking about that i would really appreciate if you guys would like this video comment subscribe all of that jazz it really helps and also it's like such a great motivator um to see that people are really engaging with the content and it really kind of encourages me to try and you know come into the lab and vlog and talk about a lot more of my experience with you guys So I have finished up in TC. Um, I bulked up my, not bulked up, but I split my cells so that I can have them more or less ready for experiment next week, early next week. guys thank you for joining me in the lab today um i feel like we made quite a bit of progress we caught up we passed some cells onto other wells and we have loads of things to chat about in the comments below so i just want to thank you again for joining me and i'll see you in the next video bye